Hello everyone! Sa previous video ay itinuro ko ang mga properties ng paralelogram. Ang gagamitin nating property na paralelogram sa pag-solve ng angles ay using the property na two opposite angles are congruent. Ibig sabihin yung angle na ito at saka ito ay congruent. Ganon din yung angle E at saka yung angle A. Gagamitin din natin yung property na two consecutive angles are supplementary, meaning to say, yung mga magkakasunod na angles ay equal siya sa 180 degrees. Okay? Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Good day everyone! Sa ating parallelogram na C-A-R-E, ang hahanapin natin ay yung value ng X, Y, Angle R, Angle E, and Angle C. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung value ng X, gagamitin natin yung property na two consecutive angles are supplementary. Meaning to say, yung Angle C, Angle C plus Angle A is equal to 180 degrees. Hindi natin pwedeng gamitin itong Angle E kasi Y yung kanyang variable. Kaya ito munang Angle C. So, yung angle C ay 2x plus 4 degrees plus yung angle A naman ay 60 degrees equals 180 degrees. Then, combine like terms, 2x, 4 plus 60, that is positive 64 degrees equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms, yung 64, i-transpose natin dito sa kabila, mag-change ng sign. And magiging 2x equals 180 minus 64 na. Mag-change na siya ng sign. And then, simplify, 2x equals 180 minus 64, that is 116. Ngayon, ang kailangan natin ay yung x. Ano ang gagawin natin para matira lang yung x dito? I-divide natin by 2. Kapag nag-divide tayo ng 2 dito, dapat mag-divide din tayo ng 2 dito. Para makancel yung 2, yung x lang ang matira. 116 divided by 2, that is 58. So, the value of x is equal to 58. Yung pangalawang kukunin naman natin ay yung value ng y. Okay. Since meron siyang katapat na angle A, di ba angle E? is congruent siya sa angle A. Kasi, opposite angles are congruent. Ibig sabihin, 3y plus 9 degrees is equal to 60 degrees. Simplify, 3y, yung 9, transpose natin dito sa kabila, mag-change ng sign, so magiging negative 9. Simplify, 3y equals 60 minus 9, that is 51. Anong gagawin natin para y lang yung matira dito? I-divide natin by 3. Kapag nag-divide dito, dapat mag-divide din tayo dito sa kabila. Makakancel ito. Y equals 51 divided by 3, that is 17. Okay? So, the value of y is equal to 17. Dapat kabisaduhin ninyo yung mga properties ng paralelograms para alam ninyo kung paano nga bakunin yung mga equations sa given. Then, ano naman ang angle R? ba ang consecutive angles ay supplementary, meaning to say, angle R plus angle A is equal to 180 degrees. I-substitute natin yung value ng angle A, so that is angle R. Plus, ano yung angle A? That is 60 degrees equals 180 degrees. Then, simplify. Yung 60 transpose sa kabila. So, magiging angle R equals 180 degrees minus 60. Kasi mag-change ito ng sign. Then, angle R equals 
180 degrees minus 60, that is 120 degrees. Meaning to say, yung angle R ay 120 degrees. Ngayon, ano naman ang angle E? Diba opposite angles are equal? Meaning to say, yung angle E is congruent siya sa angle A. If angle A is equal to 60 degrees, then we can say that angle E is equal to 60 degrees. Then, kasi opposite angles are equal. A letter E, ano naman ang measurement ng angle C? Angle C is congruent to angle R, di ba? Since yung angle R is equal to 120 degrees, then yung angle C naman is equal to 120 degrees din. Okay? So, ganun ang pag-determine ng mga values sa given na angles sa parallelogram. Another example, meron tayong parallelogram na CARE na may measurement na angle C 2x plus 25 degrees at yung measurement naman ng angle R ay 3x minus 15 degrees. Ngayon, ang hahanapin natin ay yung value ng x, yung measurement ng angle C, measurement ng angle A, measurement ng angle R at measurement ng angle E. Pareho pa rin yung gagamitin nating property, yung property na opposite angles are congruent at two consecutive angles are supplementary. Okay? Meaning to say, yung angle C dito ay equal siya sa angle R. Para makuha natin yung value ng X, gagamitin natin yung property na yon. So, meaning to say, angle C is congruent to angle R. Opposite angles are congruent. Ano ang value ng angle C? That is 2x plus 25 degrees equals, yung angle R naman ay 3x minus 15 degrees. Since linear equation na ito, i-combine lang natin yung mga x dito sa left side at yung mga constant naman dito sa right side. So, magiging 2x, yung 3x, transpose sa kabila magiging negative 3x equals negative 15 yung 25 magta-transpose magiging negative 25 then combine like terms 2x minus 3x magkaiba ng sign subtract then copy the sign of the larger number 3 minus 2 that is 1 ano ang sign niya negative Kaya negative 1x or negative x na lang. Equals, negative 15 minus 25, same sign, ibig sabihin, i-add lang natin. 15 plus 25 is equal to 40 and copy the sign, negative. I-simplify natin. Since may negative 1 pa dito, kailangan i-divide natin both sides by negative 1. Para makancel yung negative 1, yung x lang ang matira. Negative 40 divided by negative 1, same sign meaning to say positive yung result. 40 divided by 1 is equal to 40. So, the value of x is equal to 40. Ngayon, paano naman kunin yung measurement ng angle C? ba yung angle C is equal to 2x plus 25 degrees. Since meron na tayong value ng x, substitute lang natin yung 40 dito sa x. So, magiging 2 times 40 plus 25 degrees equals, simplify, 2 times 40, that is 80, plus 25, then simplify, 80 plus 25, that is 105 degrees. So, the measurement of angle C is 105 degrees. Next one is, ano naman ang measurement ng angle A? Diba yung angle C, ang measurement niya ay 105 degrees? Gagamitin natin yung property na consecutive angles are supplementary. Meaning to say, angle C plus angle A equals 180 degrees. Then, substitute natin yung measurement ng angle C, that is 105 degrees degrees plus angle A equals 180 degrees. 
Next, i-transpose natin yung 105 dito sa kabila. So, that is angle A equals 180 degrees. Yung 105 mag-change ng sign magiging negative 105 degrees. So, angle A is equal to 180 minus 105 is equal to 75 degrees. So, the measurement of angle A is equal to 75 degrees. And ano naman ang measurement ng angle R? Pwede naman nating i-mental na lang, di ba? Opposite angles are equal, meaning to say 105 din ito. Pero, i-check natin gamit itong value na ito. So, that is 3x minus 15. So, yung x natin is equal to 40. So, 3 times 40 minus 15. 120 minus 15. So, 120 minus 15, that is 105 degrees. Okay? Nag-equal yung angle R, tsaka yung angle C. Ngayon, ano naman ang measurement ng angle E? Measurement of angle E. Diba, ang katapat niya is yung angle A. As ang measurement ng angle A ay 75 degrees, then yung measurement ng angle E ay 75 degrees din. Kasi opposite angles are equal. So, this is 75 degrees. Okay? So, ganun lamang ang pagkuha ng angles sa parallelogram. Another example The parallelogram CHIM na may measurement na angle M na 8x plus 11 degrees at yung angle I naman ay 3x plus 4. Ngayon, hanapin natin yung value ng x, measurement ng angle H at measurement ng angle C. Ang gagamitin natin property dito ay two consecutive angles are supplementary. Angle M plus angle I is equal to 180 degrees. By substitution, yung angle M ay 8x plus 11 degrees. Yung angle I naman ay 3x plus 4 degrees equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms, yung mga magkakamukha at magkakapareho, 8x plus 3x is equal to 11x. 11 plus 4 is equal to positive 15 equals 180 degrees. Then, simplify yung positive 15, transpose natin. So, magiging 11x equals 180 minus 15 degrees. Simplify 11x, 180 degrees minus 15, that is 165 degrees. Para makuha natin yung x, i-divide natin by 11, both sides. Para makancel ito, yung x lang ang matira. 165 divided by 11 is equal to 15. So, the value of x is equal to 15. Ano naman ang measurement ng angle H? Since yung angle M at angle H ay congruent, Pwede natin i-substitute yung x dito sa value na dito. So, that is angle H equals 8x plus 11 degrees. Substitute natin yung 15 dito. So, magiging 8 times 15 plus 11 degrees equals 8 times 15. So, 15 times 8 is equal to 120 plus 11. 120 plus 11 is equal to 131 degrees. So, yung angle H ay 131 degrees. Ngayon, paano naman natin kukunin yung measurement ng angle C? Pwede din natin isubstitute yung X dito. So, measurement of angle C is equal to 3x plus 4. Kasi nga, opposite angles are equal. So, pwede natin gamitin ito. So, that is 3 times 15 plus 4. Simplify. 3 times 15, that is 45 plus 4. 45 plus 4 is equal to 49 degrees. 
So the measurement of angle C is equal to 49 degrees and the measurement of angle H is equal to 131 degrees. I-check natin kung tama. 49 plus 131 ba ay 180 degrees? So, 131 plus 49 is equal to 180. Meaning to say, supplementary yung angle C at yung angle H. Okay? So, ganun kapag magkatabi yung given. So, tandaan ninyo lang ha kung paano mag-solve ng mga equations. So, kailangan ninyong i-review kung paano mag-solve ng linear equations. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana nakatulong ito sa inyong mga modules and activities. Bye!